France has begun easing restrictions on British travellers after rules were tightened last month. Vaccinated travellers will no longer need a compelling reason to enter the country, but a negative Covid test taken 24 hours before leaving the UK will still be required for all those arriving. Let's talk to Gareth Marshall, the director of a British travel company called Simply Morzine. Morzine, is that right, how, how you say it? That's correct, Victoria, yes, Simply Morzine. So, what kind of holidays do you do then, Gareth? So, we, look, we welcome um, a lot of guests from the UK um, into a ski resort called Morzine in the French Alps. Um, and we, um, we've, we look forward now to be welcoming um, British guests back to Morzine. So we've been specialising in holidays for 25 years with um, predominantly British clientele. And how difficult has it been for you with various restrictions and also with, with them regularly changing? Yeah, Victoria, it's been, it's been, um, it's been really tough um, on the business and also physically and mentally for myself. We had the lockdown in March 2020 when no one really knew what was happening and there was suddenly a, a strict lockdown in France. And then to the, the following two summers, we had various travel corridors and then quarantines brought in. And then finally, we thought we could eventually get going for this coming winter season, uh, for this current winter season after a long period of preparing over the autumn. Um, We've essentially been in lockdown, the, the, the ski industry in France for 22 months. Uh, and then this happened um, on the from the 18th of um, December with the French government um, putting the effectively a travel ban from get for, from uh, on tourists from Britain. So it, it was devastating news. But we are we're so pleased with um, the announcement yesterday that we can finally start welcoming um, British tourists again. You said it had been uh, physically and mentally tough on yourself. Do you mind me asking what, what, what that means? I think it's just, uh, it's been a war of attrition because it's something we've never had to, dealt, to, deal, to, to deal with before. Um, uh, I think the company is, has had to adapt. We've had to adapt. We've tried to do our best by um, our guests, by our staff, by our suppliers, by our landlords. As, as a, um, one of the main companies in Morzine, which is a small village, um, there's, we've felt some responsibility because we've seen the impact that it's had on, on the town and on, and on the economy. And then also personally, um, I guess for me being the, the, the head of Simply Morzine, I've had to lead by example and lead by our team and show our team that, look, we can get through this, whatever is thrown at us we will deal with it. We're in completely uncharted territory, but there has been a lot of pressure. Um, and finally, the pressure's been lifted and um, our phone's been ringing non-stop off the hook for the last 24 hours. Well, that's good to hear. And when you say pressure, that is, that's stress, that's daily stress, that's sleepless nights. Is that the kind of thing you're talking about? It is, yes. I think if you, um, if you, if you were interviewing my wife, she'd say I've, I've not been the um, easiest person to, to live with. Um, yeah, it's it's stress of, of I think just sleep of um, just constant anxiety of not knowing um, with the rules with constantly changing rules um, and we fully understand our guest position. When you go on holiday, you just want the holiday is all about relaxing. It's not about biting your nails and thinking can we go or can't we go. So we we can understand our guest position that. People just want certainty, but equally we've got to balance that with uh, the company and uh, those who are dependent on us uh, in terms of our staff and the, and the resort. So it's been um, it's been a really challenging time, but we want to um, we just we just want to do what we're good at, yeah. and that's welcoming British skiers um, and allowing people to have some fabulous holidays with us. Sure, and this testament to you you're still here the business is still here you know that's that says something no thank you um we've we've been running for 25 years and we've we've always ran with a philosophy of um putting something away for a rainy day i always thought that a rainy day would come we never knew what we i had no idea that it would be a, a pandemic and, and it would hit to this to such proportions and i think when the first lockdown hit in march 2020 
I don't think any of us thought we'd still be talking about it about it now, but we are still here and we've got a loyal uh, following of, of, of guests and people are just chomping at the bit to come back and, 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 and ski. The snow's fantastic, the sun shines out, the sh our chalets are looking prim and proper. We are um, we're just ready to, to welcome people and, and that's not just from Simply Morzine's perspective. I, that, I, I think I can speak for everyone across the French Alps, all the local communities who depend so much on British tourists and all the hotels and chalet operators and other British companies like ourselves. We, we, we just want to trade and do what we're good at and, as I say, give people fantastic holiday experiences in one of the most beautiful locations in the world. Good luck. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you for having me, Victoria. Thank you.